try again. Uh, my wife got a little scared. She ran into something and thought maybe it was a snake. Uh, it was not. All the snakes are out. But this is a, uh, a pewter bee. So, again, either black pastel or cinnamon uh, mixed with spider, mixed with pastel. So, again, came from the sterling bee. Uh, we produced two of these from the clutch. I'm only going to show one of them. Um, let's see if he's kind of shy right now. See that head? You can see the head is blushed out. See kind of the purplish, light brownish hue mixed with the the washed out yellowish from the pastel. And then, of course, the spider influence on the pattern. So uh, we produced two male pewter bees, um, and they have also sold. Yeah. And last from this clutch, and the only female... We have a very nice uh, and kind of paradoxical uh, bumblebee female, which is pastel spider. Um, you can see all of the pretty vivid yellow mixed with the spider pattern. But what's really unique on this girl is kind of the kind of the normal splotches or, or darker pigmentation kind of coming through. You can see it on the head, a little bit on the neck there. She's got some of it on the side pattern there, more of it there. So, kind of unique. Gives her some uniqueness, some character, um, some extra flair, charisma. Uh, this girl is still available. She hasn't sold yet. Again, after she gets a few more meals in, she'll be ready to ship out. But a very nice and pretty unique looking uh, little bumblebee female. So this next clutch is shut out. Now we're transitioning. Uh, again, another dual clutch. So, learn from my mistakes. Don't do that. It makes it easier on yourself. Uh, especially when you have heterozygous genes involved, uh, which I did in this clutch. So uh, the mom on this clutch was a was sold to me as a normal uh, double hat uh, ghost clown. Uh, I think she also kind of proved uh, genetic banded, which we will show. Um, the two sires from this clutch were a butter double head ghost clown. Um, unfortunately, I didn't hit any clowns or any ghosts from this clutch, so... Uh, it was only five eggs, so either bad odds or maybe one of them didn't prove to have those genes. Uh, we'll have to continue reading out to see. Uh, the other sire of the clutch was a leopard double head clown pied, um, and we got one visual leopard from that, so we'll show those. those. So this first one is a male. He's available. He's a butter. And again, uh, double uh, potentially double het ghost clown since you know both uh, parents wore het for that. So we would say he's 66% het clown, 66% het ghost. Nice little butter male. Butter lesser than the same gene. Um, different names, but uh, this one was from the butter line. All right, this is the female. Uh, this is the leopard. Um, camera might not pick up quite the, the darks, but what gives it away is the, the head stamp and the pattern on the head, as well as the typical, if I get it, the striping on the back of the tail. And then you see some of that disruption and kind of jumbled pattern that the leopard gives to the pattern. So this one. Uh, again, the mom was double head ghost clown, dad was uh, double head clown pied, so we have a leopard, 66% head clown, um, you know, 50% head ghost, and 50% head pied. Um, now if we look to see if we have any, you know, pied track marks. So we'll have to see. This is a female. Um, I haven't really decided if I'm going to hold her back and keep her or if I'm going to list her. She's not listed yet, but if you just have to have her, message me. Maybe we'll work something out. So here we have, uh, you know, two normal looking snakes out of that clutch. Um, so here's another problem with the hats. We don't know if this was sired by the butter or the leopard. We got one of each from that clutch. So we don't know if these are 50% head pied or if they're just 66% head clown, 66% head ghost. Now, I do believe mom might have proved um, to be genetic banded. You know, you can kind of see some of that banding um, within the pattern, some of the darker pixelation and coloring. Uh, you can see that um, a little better with this example. 
But all in all, you know, still good looking snakes, but more of your normal, typical ball python pattern. And again, when you mix up uh, the possible dads, you don't really know exactly potentially what hets are at play if they have different het genes that they're carrying. So, um, you know, these definitely aren't my most expensive snakes. These will probably actually be my cheapest and uh, least dollar amount value snakes that I produced this year. Um, and they're both available. So those are our second and third clutches, respectively, of the season that have hatched out, shed out. Um, we have uh, an exciting video we will post uh, probably within the next seven to ten days uh, as they come out of the egg, and we'll maybe do a follow-up once they shed. But I have some eggs in the incubator right now that are at about day 52, 53, that are from a pastel puma female. Uh, that hurricane het clown was also one of the possible dads uh, and I think we have some hurricanes in there so uh, we will update on that that could be a pretty cool clutch if we hit from the hurricane so again thanks for watching thanks for supporting if you like our content please subscribe to our YouTube channel please follow us on Instagram Sid Snakes 2020 check out our morph market page and thank you for your time and for watching today take care